Hey, it's Michael Zapersky from ConsultingSuccess.com. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to talk with you about a mindset that is uh, incredibly important for established consultants. The mindset is what I call foot on the pedal. And it becomes very important when your consulting business is taking off, uh, when things are going well, uh, when you have plenty of, of clients and plenty of opportunities surrounding you. Uh, the foot on the pedal mindset is, is essential. And so here's what it's all about. Let's write this down. So foot on the pedal. Now, foot on the pedal, this is, this is what it refers to. As your business is moving along, right, you're, you're seeing growth, right? The reality is it's probably a lot more up and down, right, to, to get to this point. But as it's going, you find yourself in a good place. The typical reaction for most consultants when they get to this place is they do the opposite of foot on the pedal. They take their foot off the pedal. They start to coast. They say, you know what? I, I don't need to do as much marketing. Uh, I don't need to uh, follow up with as many people or work on my outreach uh, or you know, doing sales activities and, and things of that nature because I've made it. Things are going well. Like I don't, I'm just going to serve my existing clients. I don't really need to worry about uh, getting in front of, of new clients and finding new opportunities because it's not a top priority for them anymore, right? Their top priority is serving their existing clients. Uh, and that makes sense, right? As a consultant, you always want to be serving your existing clients. You want to, that's like, that's your number one focus. That's who you have a responsibility to, to deliver for. But that being said, you never want to take your foot off the pedal completely because if you do, then well, I shouldn't say never, you might do it for periods of time a, a little bit, but if you do it too much, if you let your foot go off the pedal for too long and you're just coasting, then essentially what's happening is you're becoming complacent. You're just allowing your current success to di dictate your future, but that success alone that you're having right now isn't going to necessarily create the same level of success or greater for you in the future. And so with that in mind, what you want to do is have this mindset of foot on the pedal so that before, right, maybe if, if this was, was the pedal, right, before maybe you were pushing it down all the way to the ground, right, we'll make that pedal stand a little bit more there, right, maybe you were pushing it all the way to the ground, you had a lot of, right, a lot of energy that was being done on your marketing and on, on your sales and on your outbound and activities, but if you take your foot completely off the pedal, right, you come up to here, just completely off, then the car, right, which is your business, just kind of coasts along. Now you might think, and you might even feel and even see for a period of time that you're coasting kind of nicely, but what can happen is all of a sudden, it can go down, it can drop. And it can drop because maybe one or more of your existing clients decides to pause, or they end the project earlier, there's, right, there's some change going on in their organization or a really great prospect or multiple prospects that you had that you were just certain would become clients decided not to move forward right now or decide to go with some, someone else in the marketplace. Well, so now, right, this momentum that you had just drops off very quickly. And the problem is that when that happens, if your foot is off the, the pedal for too long, your pipeline of business, right, you have people in the pipeline that you're working through these different stages, right, from initial lead to a conversation to a proposal to winning and so forth right if there aren't enough people in this pipeline at all given times and your foot's off the pedal then this early area here this what we call the lead category or the lead column is very low there's not much here and so if there's not much here then it's going to take you longer to get your business back up to the level that it was before whereas if your foot is on the pedal Maybe not all the way to the ground as it was before, but if it's even just a little bit, right? Even if you're applying a bit of pressure, meaning that you're still building up new leads and new opportunities in this category, then if something drops off, you can stop it by moving other, you know, moving more leads through and you can pick up another opportunity and pick up another opportunity. And so essentially what you're doing is you're not allowing your business to become complacent. You're not just letting it coast along organically, 
you're being intentional. You're always spending some effort less, right? You'll be spending less effort on your business development and less on your marketing than you were before when you are more established because you have more clients to serve. And so you'll have less time to work on your marketing, which is okay, right? That's normal for an independent or very small cons consulting firm. But you never, never want to stop completely, right? You don't want to take your foot off the pedal altogether because if you do, then you're really becoming susceptible to the to this to this um, drop, and then it can take you a lot longer to get things back up. And this this place here going back up, this whole zone is painful, right? This is not fun, guys, because when you're in this zone, you're feeling wow, like oh, I have to do this all over again. I don't want to do this. And, some people don't even like the marketing and sales process. So as you're establishing, growing your business, make sure that you always have your foot on the pedal, more at the beginning probably, less a little bit as things go, but the more that you have your foot on the pedal, right, the more that you can keep this down for as long as, for, you know, forever, like for, for as long as your business is, is uh, alive, you wanna have your foot on the pedal because that's what's gonna give you the opportunities. That's gonna put you in that position to be in control. If you're not, then when this goes down, when something happens, you're not in control and that becomes then much, much more difficult to deal with. But if you are in control, you're able to correct, to course correct and to get things back off, you know, back on track and, and growing. The other benefit is that the more you have your foot on the pedal, the more opportunities you're going to actually create. And as you create more of those opportunities, not only uh, can you then really pick and choose the clients that you want to work with, but you're also able to just win more, more clients or win higher value projects because you can say no to the ones that aren't a good fit for you and say yes to the ones that you feel are like, yeah, that's in my zone. Those are ideal clients. Uh, it's a high value project and that obviously will help you to make a lot more money uh, and have a much uh, stronger stable of, of clients and, um, and prospects for the future.